What are you gonna do now? 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 Thank you for tuning in to our newest edition of Word on the Street. With me today, I have the extreme honor and pleasure of introducing to you international recording star, Richie Goods. Thanks for being here, Rich. Uh, thanks really so much for having me, Derek. Not a problem. Yeah. Listen, man, I've been listening to your music for a while. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, I'm a... Uh, Primarily a bass player. I've been playing music since I was five years old. Uh, grew up playing in the church in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And um, I studied at the Performing Arts High School there in Pittsburgh. And then I went to uh, the Berklee College of Music in okay. Boston. And after that, I, I moved to New York and, and just been touring and recording since. So tell us about your touring. I know that you, you guys play, you and your group, play behind another famous artist. Well, yeah. Well, for the past four and a half years, I've been touring with Chris Bode okay. and uh, also the, the guitar player Ben Butler and the drummer Lee Pearson. They also tour with, uh, with Chris Bode as well. And David Cook, our keyboard player, he uh, is the music director for Taylor Swift. Okay. So... Um, yeah. So yeah. you you uh you guys perform out here in uh Peekskill at a couple of these spots up here, right? Tell us about that. Yeah, well sometimes I I perform with Chris Bodie at the Paramount. Okay. But also with this band that you just saw, we uh we perform regular uh, maybe twice a year at the Bean Runner Cafe. Okay. Okay. We're yeah. we're gonna definitely try to see if we can get you at some more of these venues because they uh they call Peekskill the Soho of Westchester now. It really is. Yeah, yeah so we're this... definitely looking to see you at some of these other venues. Um, <laughs> tell us a little bit about, um, I heard that you've been bestowed a great honor of being inducted in a Hall of Fame. Right, yeah, well, the Pittsburgh Jazz Hall of Fame. Pittsburgh has a really rich jazz legacy, so it's an honor to be inducted. I was, after I graduated Berkeley College of Music, I was touring with uh, the great Mulgrew Miller, and also the Manhattan Transfer and Brian McKnight and a lot of different bands and um, and the rapper Common. Oh, okay. And I recorded a lot of rec some records with uh, Whitney Houston and uh, and Will Smith. And um, so Pittsburgh saw fit for to induct me. I was the youngest member inducted okay. into the Pittsburgh Jazz Hall of Fame.
So what's next for Richie Good? Um, right now, I'm enjoying working with Chris Bodie. We do probably about 250 days a year on the road. Like wow. we're, and I'm I'm really enjoying it uh, for now. And so we'll see how long that lasts. But I'm really focusing also on this band and just growing uh, just the the sound of the band and uh, and and eventually. Torn. We, we've done some tours, and uh, actually things were, we were torn a little more before I started working with Chris. But eventually that's the plan, is to do a lot okay. more of this. So you, you play with a group called Nuclear Fusion. Right. Describe that type of music to us. Well, I call it jazz fusion. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, but it's, <laughs> you know, it has elements of rock, elements of funk. Uh, I'm incorporating more elements of gospel, okay. and um, cause that's, that's my roots is okay. gospel. I still play gospel. I play when I'm not on the road. I play at Mount Olivet Baptist Church. I'm the okay. bass player there okay. Okay. here in Peekskill. And, um, and the Nuclear Fusion kind of came about because when I first formed the band, I, uh, I've, you know, I've always dug science and uh, and it was the the pro the process of putting the band together, putting the right elements together that would not just guys that were virtuosos, but guys that could really blend together and just make um, this uh, one sound, but just a bigger, greater sound. Right. And so it's kind of like the whole nuclear fusion process of taking okay. things, putting them together, and creating another not four different elements, but just one greater element. Okay. Well, staying on the same vein as your roots, I've seen you perform at the Bean Runner, and you've mentioned something about the funk and, and your last name and your family's last name and oh, one mud, of the songs mud. that you play. <laughs> What's that about? Yeah, no, it's just uh, uh, kind of a, a playful family thing that we do. My, my grandfather's... Uh, last name was Mudd. He was Leroy Mudd. Okay. And as kids, me and my, my brothers and sisters and cousins, we just thought it was funny, Mudd, you know. Right. And so we start, we would tease each other. Yeah, Richie Mudd. Yeah, Anthony Mudd. So now as adults, we all call each other Mudd. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. when we call each other, hey, what's going on, Mudd? Oh, nothing, Mudd. Wow. You okay. know, so hence, and we, we grew up with gospel, but we also grew up with funk. We Bootsy Collins was a big part of okay. our childhood. Mine too. And so, um, you know, that song is one of the funkiest cuts on the record. So okay. I called okay. it Mud Funk. So are you guys planning on performing in the uh, Westchester area? Yeah, well, we're going to do the Bean Runner again uh, September 24th. Okay. Okay. And that's going to be, yeah, that's going to be a blast. Okay, so okay. we got to get you in some of these other big venues that they have over here, the Hudson Room. and Yeah, and uh, the Paramount, I would love to do something at a big venue like the Paramount. I don't right. think I could fill it up quite yet, but maybe, you know, a, a double bill or something I with somebody. I think fill it up, man. Yeah. We've heard your music, and my wife and I are big fans of the Richie Goods movement. Um, uh, we're definitely going to see what we can do in getting you some more venues up here. Um, as far as the rest of your career is concerned, what else do you do on the outside of music? Well, I do, I do some production uh, work, um, jazz and R&B. For a while, I was doing some hip-hop production. I have my own okay. production company. Okay. And um, just my whole life has been just touring and recording uh, with with different people and I, I do my best to not bound myself to one genre because uh, I just I love music in general so I've done if you look at my resume I've done a lot of I've done some hip-hop artists I've recorded and played with some pop artists and uh, uh, I've done a lot of jazz and people like to see try to you know, pigeonhole you yeah. into into something. In I know for for many years when I was playing with uh, Mulgrew Miller, everyone thought I was this straight ahead guy, and I would get and he's you know pretty traditional jazz, really straight ahead, and I would do interviews. I'd do interviews like this, but they were with a lot of jazz purists, 
and they would say to me, like, yeah, it's so good to see a young guy playing the stand-up bass, playing real music, real jazz, none of that electric, hip-hop, you know, rock and roll stuff. So who's your favorite artist? And I'd say, well, actually, Jimi Hendrix is my favorite artist. Yeah. And, and uh, actually, I, I play with a lot of hip-hop artists. I love hip-hop music, and uh, I love pop music, you know. And so, uh, and, they, and they get kind of taken aback a little bit, but... I just don't want to box myself in.
tested all the different waters of music if you had a choice of which genre you could play in if you had to play in one what would it be oh man i i would i would really hate to be put in a position where i had to choose you had to choose right that that's the same with the electric bass tonight tonight i'm i'm playing all electric bass but most of my career has been 50% acoustic bass and 50% electric bass. People say, well, which one do you like better? I would hate to have to choose. <laughs> right. It depends on the music. It depends on my mood. Right. And usually uh, my wife was just telling me, um, man, you've been listening to a lot of gospel music lately. And I've been writing gospel music. And I'm like, well, that's because I've been on the road so much. I haven't been in church that much. Okay. And so I'm missing that. Okay. But if I was in church every week and I'm playing nothing but gospel music, I might be listening to straight ahead jazz all the time. Okay. And so I just always like uh, just to keep the, the doors open to everything. So is a gospel album in your future? Or do that's, you see That's yourself? very possible. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, I Peak Scale has so much talent. Right. And I, I really want to do more in this area and, and cultivating young talent and working with people. Last time I was at the Bean Runner, um, Jaquan Welsh, uh, we call him Kwani. He goes to uh, Mount Olivet oh, Baptist yes. Church. Really talented singer. And he's doing his own thing. But I wanted to get a chance to do something with him. So he sang with me that last okay. time at the Bean Runner. And I want to really uh, work with more people in the peak skill area and with gospel and other things okay you know so you do have a, a late uh a late album out right because um, yes we've uh we've purchased that and we're, we've been grooving to that in the car for the last couple of months yeah that's been out it's been out about a year now and uh that's called three rivers that's kind of homage the homage to my hometown of pittsburgh okay and uh that every song on the record for me, has something to do with Pittsburgh. Okay. There's some direct references. The title cut is Three Rivers. And, but then there's other songs that either I used to listen to as a child or that uh, reminded me of my childhood. The, the song that we played, Shout, that was one of my favorite pop songs back, back in the day. Okay. And uh, I used to wear that song out. So I, I took that and kind of put it into a jazz fusion vibe. Put your twist on it. Right? Yeah, I always say, uh, yeah, the Tears for Fears, they made millions on that song. <laughs> we probably make hundreds <laughs> <laughs> on it. <laughs> but that's all that's right. That's going to change too, man. Yeah, okay. hopefully. All right, so how does anyone who's uh, tuning in get in touch with Richie Goods and book you for their events? Yeah, well, I have my website. Uh, www.richiegoods.com. Okay. And uh, also on Facebook, I have my fan page on Facebook, and um, I'm pretty easy to get get in touch with. Twitter's Twitter, there's Instagram, uh, everything's Richie Goods. Okay. Okay. So we are uh, we're we're on it to have you here. I know you're going to play yeah. a couple songs for us. Um, if any of the songs that you have playing tonight are are you any special significant meaning behind them? Well, I told you what Mud Funk was. That's one of the songs reference. we're going to play. Okay. And uh, and Shout, one of my favorite childhood songs. Cosmic Beauty, that song, my wife is always giving me a hard time because I, <laughs> I never write songs for her. Okay. So that song was inspired okay. by her, and that song I, I wrote for her. And... Um, uh, so, yeah, that's nothing, nothing too deep. Okay. <laughs> nothing too okay. deep. <laughs> All right. So just to be clear, you play upright bass. Right. You yes. play acoustic bass and you play. Well, upright, yeah, it's, upright is the acoustic, acoustic bass. Acoustic, okay. And uh, there's, I'm primarily a bass player, acoustic bass and electric bass. But I play piano. Most of the stuff I write, I write on piano. And even when I'm learning songs, oh, okay. I, I rarely learn them on bass. I learn them on the piano. Okay. And uh, I play a little guitar, a little drums. and Nice. You know. Okay. Well, <laughs> it, once again, it was a pleasure having you here, and we're blessed by having in your presence. Um, Richie Goods, everyone, um, please stay tuned. 
you're going to be blown away by this man's music. And if you really want to get in touch with him, you have his email addresses and ways to contact him. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, with your goods. Thank Thanks you so very much. much. Thanks so much, Dan. Thanks, man. Thank mm -hmm. you.